Hi, and welcome to another popping and stick bait uh, video. Um, well, so today, as you can see, um, I've got some Tackle House feed poppers. Now, these are pretty much the only sizes you can get in the UK. They go all the way from this little baby one down here. So this is 100 mil and 22 grams, all the way up to the biggest one we can get over here. I believe this is the biggest one they actually do, being 175 mil or 87 grams. That's, that's better, it's in focus now. Um, so, what these are, for a start being Tackle House, they, they do have some amazing details on them. If I just do it like that, then you should be able to pick it up. They are, they're quite expensive for what they are. Um, you know, you can look at the big one, you're looking at over 40 quid for one of those. Um, but the, the thing with these, and this is partly the reason for, for making these videos, is you look at the big one there. So that's 175 mil long. Um, so I happen to have a very convenient set of calipers here. It is 27 mil in width. Um, so you think, okay, well, for 175 mil, that's quite a slim lure. If you then go the other way this is a Rapala Magnum Explode the 170 so it's five mil shorter but then you know you, you then look at the width of the cup on that well it's 40 42 mil and the body is uh, 39 mil um, so so quite a significant difference um, so the advantage to these ones is if you want to use a popper with a slim profile therefore they're going to be nice and easy to work because they're not going to be as the cup isn't quite so big um, these are going to give you the, that advantage um, they do cast an absolute mile they're very stable in the air as well um, just to show you on the big one because it's more more visible um, you'll see Let's just do that there and if i don't get myself spiked and also on the nose rather than being wired through which in effect they are there's a, a wired uh, a, a metal stamped plate in there which is why as you can see it's flat all the way along because it's actually stamped so therefore much much stronger in the first place some fantastic color options on them um, they are really quite genuinely pretty lures um, but so what I wanted to show you so that that's the 175 so the 175 the next size down so the 150 so cup wise oops if they don't try and have sex cup wise the 150 is a tiny tiny bit slimmer body width yet again not a huge amount in it so quite a big one there then coming down so this is um the 135 so 135 let's yeah, again try not to spike myself so a significant difference in cup size there and also body size uh, width um, so a relatively slim lure compared to a relatively big lure um, if we then come down to the 120 so the 120 yeah again a significant difference in in um, cup size um, and yet again, a lot slimmer. And then finally coming down to the baby of the bunch. I believe in this country you can get a 70, but I've never actually seen one. Um, so when you look at the baby of the bunch, uh, it almost looks like that cup is slightly bigger. Not a lot, but slightly. Um, Diameter-wise, they're as near as damn it the same. Now, hook-wise on them... Um, <sighs> I, I'm using the big one purely just so, it, so it's more visible. Um, I like to have a, a treble on the belly and then a single on, or, or barbless, and a single on the tail. Um, the treble on the belly can help the lure actually bite into the water, um, and therefore it's, there's less light to skip, particularly if it's slightly, slightly choppy uh, conditions. Um, but one of the interesting things that you'll see with these lures, and a, an awful lot of surface lures, particularly poppers, you know, if I just put them that way up, now, bear in mind, there's a lot of lures that are designed to catch anglers. Um, we'll put you the right way up in a minute. But what's the fish going to see? The fish is going to see a silver belly. A lot of fish do have silver bellies. But you can get all sorts of elaborate um, um, sides and backs. And yet, are they for them or are for the fish or are they for us? Then you get something like this one. This is why I chose this particular colour, because it's got a red belly, so it's quite different. Um, you know, we're... To show some, show the. I do believe in showing the fish something different that they haven't seen before. Um, so, what am I using on them hook-wise? Uh, I tend to, if I can, only use Lone Diablos 
uh, BKK and Le Diablo's um, the inline singles on the tail. Um, the belly hooks, um, I believe these are owner. I'm not so, so sure, um, but I think they're owners. Um, they are, um, it's not shout, um, decoy split rings. So on the big one there, we've got 250 pound split rings on that one. The next size down, there's 200 pound. Uh, I believe we're next size down. Yeah, so we're 150. Oh, get off, get off, get off. 150 pound on the 135. And then coming down to the little guys here, um, they're hundreds. That might even be a 150 on there. Um, they're, they're 100 pound rings on there, and they're just 90 on the little one. Um, the little one there, it, it's that's a BKK Fang hook. It's a little bit on the small side, but it'll still work. It'll still be all right. Um, and this 120 size, I'm not quite happy with the treble on that, so I will probably be changing that to a slightly smaller one, as you can see. Um, you want your treble hook to the points to be able to be... Uh, outside the lure when it's like that so when it's in the water so i'll just show you on the others as well so then like that and finally on the big boy like that so if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up please do subscribe to the channel because it's a new channel and I'm, I'm trying to put more content out there as soon as i possibly can if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to ask them below i'll do my best to answer them as soon as i can um many thanks thank you bye now